Hey Mama Boos, it's morning and um, I'm ready to go to work. I'm ready to go to work. Guys, I don't know how I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I really, really don't know. I really, really regret not bringing my trap, but then this is nonsense. Like, how did I pack and forget to bring it? Doesn't make sense. It does not make sense, or does it? Let me try. Okay. Okay. I think this is a much better job. Don't you think? Um, I hate tucking in this shit because then it looks like I have a big belly. I'm going to have to suck in my belly every time I walk so that it looks even smaller. Hmm? 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 Thick thighs save lives. Thick thighs save lives. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so silly, you guys. I'm wearing heels. The same heels. The same block little heels that I was wearing. Guys, I, 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 I just, my toes do not look happy at all. Like my toes are not looking the part, but I'm wearing heels. Because I'm embarrassing myself just because I feel like heels go better with this with this outfit i'm just can't believe it can't believe it like <laughs> i'm wearing heels like sandal heels and my toes guys the other one doesn't have nail polish the other one the nail polish is done the other one has so much growth disaster <laughs> complete disaster <laughs> Okay, guys, um, good morning. This is day three of Malawi. And what's so frustrating, guys, is that I keep on going out when, like, it's at night, you know, because then during the day, we're busy with work. I'm just hoping that on Friday, we knock off early and we can go and ex see other things, um, explore and everything during the day so that I can take proper content for you guys. Because, like, I've been going... I'm visiting these bars, <laughs> you know, these famous bars in Blantyre, you know, this is like, this is not the capital city, so, I mean, it's not like it's posh, you see, it's like Chisanyama vibes everywhere, and that's where I've been going, and you guys know that's my vibe, hey, or do you, or don't you, but anyway, the pe people aren't, aren't really there, because it's a, it's week, it's during the week, so, hmm, so yeah, I, 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 I I don't know. I'm hoping to go somewhere and actually show you guys something beautiful and something clear for you guys to see because so far, ish, the, it's it's really, it's it's. I'm really struggling to to show you guys stuff because then I, I go to these places at night, and then I basically can't really show much. But it'll get better. Don't worry, it'll get better. I'm gonna try my best. Mind you, this is a work trip, so it's not like I can just leave what I'm doing to go and explore Malawi. <laughs> All right, guys, see you later. I'm gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna leave. This is hibiscus tea. I wanted to try it because apparently it calms your nerves. It goes very well with honey and it tastes a bit sour, but it's delicious. to the lake so i can't really intro this video let's just go to the lake because <laughs> i'm late <laughs> how do i look yes yes i hope i look okay 
I don't do my makeup. Not really. Not exactly. But. Yeah, guys. So we're going to the lake. Um, the famous lake. Do we just want to go watch the sunset? It's apparently, it's very beautiful. I mean, so... I hope I capture it and I hope I capture beautiful moments so that you guys can see. Otherwise, our ride is here. Our ride is over there. And I'm waiting for everybody. I got up early, can you imagine? So, hotel, that's part of the chain. Hotel yeah. Chain. So, they have hotels in town and hotels along the lake and on the mountain. Mm -hmm. in Zomba. Where the chickens cost five thousand each. It's called Planter Market. Hydro plant downstream, okay. so they use the barrage to control the fall of the, fall of the water. Okay. That's where they generate electricity. That's yeah. the biggest the hydro power plant in the country. It's down there. Obviously. Obviously, they oh. ate the money and the, this whole thing stopped. <laughs> yeah. What? He's eating money too much. Mm. I can see. There's a little ship there. Oh my goodness, there's a ship there. <laughs> there's a little ship there. We're, we're going to about two ships. Wow. Yeah. I, I, I need to charge my phone now before it dies. Please. Get you haven't seen nothing yet. I've seen nothing, right? You haven't seen nothing yet. Oh my goodness. Hey, look at this. 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 Look at um, in the center, that must be one of them. Mm. So it goes all the way to the island. Oh, okay. The island is close to Mozambique and Tanzania. Yeah. 
that's the naval base. I think we'll go there as well and see the ships cross by. Yeah, so this one's not move. Oh, there's the Ntendere. You see, see They've been here. I've yeah. been in that ship before when I was young. Uh -huh. So that goes, that used to go to, but it's now decommissioned. Okay. I've been in the ship as well from the mainland to all the way to the Komaira. Oh, it looks nice. We just have two ships and then back, Evan and back. But now the ships, I think, they are too old. About this, I'll just ask the guy. This is so nice. Wow. Look at the ships. What do you think? Let's go swimming. Yeah. Let's go swimming in here. No. The world class seats. Good morning. 1950. Imagine. And that's for the captain, huh? Chief engineer. Chief officer. Captain. I wonder how the captain's room looks like. <laughs> so this is this is the restaurant. This is the restaurant. Yeah, the raw restaurant. You see, it's that's like the bar. Oh, but it looks nice, guys. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness! Look at those little little canoes. This is beautiful. What? Oh my gosh, and the water looks a bit green, huh? No, it's just you want to moving. <laughs> Kenneth thinks we're moving. <laughs> wow. That's the most expensive room we saw from things. Hey. So the toilet is in there, but it's heaven one. Yeah? Heaven one. Heaven one. Yeah. Hey, that's, the honeymoon, that's the honeymoon suite. Oh no! Well, no, no, the family! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's true, it's oh. the honeymoon suite. There's a road that goes over there. Those are both gunships. Okay. This is the one that uh, we shoot here. <laughs> and this is like a bar, restaurant, so that kind of thing. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these guys are crazy. <laughs> Anklets, these are nice. Wow, this is so pretty. What is this one? That's a thin cover. A thin cover, yeah, like this one. Oh, yeah. Malawi, this is so thin. pretty. And then I hook it up there. That's a key hanger. Key hanger. Wow. So how much is this? This just goes is five dollar. Hmm, so real. Oh wow! Look at the bishop. These are phones. Wow.
So the castle is a hut. Huh? <laughs> castle is a so pretty. little day of fun <laughs> at least I got to see this this is so beautiful guys oh my gosh how I wish I was on holiday if I was on holiday here I'll take it Bro ah that's weird okay I'll take it Heesh, I'm being forced to take a picture y'all so beautiful I wish I was on holiday this is too nice to be a work trip just had lunch and now we're just chilling sitting and everybody else is talking at the restaurant i am busy vlogging by the lake yeah it took us a while to get here where i was staying um in namiwawa right it's like three hours from where i am right now i'm at the, I'm, I'm like we're waiting for the sunset apparently it's the most beautiful here um so i think i've taken some pictures i'll try to take pictures later so i'm gonna go charge my phone um yeah otherwise the the lake yeah we're at the lake we are at this place called sun sun i, 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 I keep on referring to it as sunny side but it's not sunny side something else it's called sun sun sunbird it's called sunbird so white sunbird yeah it's very beautiful here i'm so privileged to have seen this because this is a work trip it's not a holiday and remember i told you guys i'm like i don't think i'm gonna see much i don't think i'm gonna do much um but i'll just show you whatever it is that i'm doing because I was worried that I'm not gonna actually do anything since it's a work trip, you know? Um, so I was like, oh, no, I'm probably not gonna see anything. I'm probably not even gonna do anything. It's going to work the whole day. But I, at least I got to see this. This is beautiful. I, This is beautiful. Malawi is so beautiful. And the people here are just so loving. This is truly the warm heart of Africa, guys. Like, everybody's so nice. You know what? To my sisters, huh? My sisters out there, if you want to get married, come and look for my love. Get married. These, these gentlemen are very sweet, they're very nice. Okay? Everybody here is nice. The ladies are nice. Come and settle in Malawi. If you if you don't want stress, if you don't want mean people in your life, just come. If you don't want wara wara every day, if and you want someone who's caring, come for these people because these people are so caring. Like so caring. I feel like this angle is making my face look fat. But you guys know all my angles. You wouldn't judge me now, would you? <laughs> yeah, guys. Ah, I don't know when I'm going to close. I'm going to close this vlog when I probably land in South Africa. Then I'll close this vlog. Um, and I, I have like, I have a... Um, a long wait for my next flight leaving Joburg so I feel like maybe I should do something in SA 
you know just go do it some a little bit of something i'll show you guys i'll be with you guys you know um i'll do something and then i don't know what maybe i'll just move around in the mall because the airport is like lonely now like people aren't there shops shut down it's crazy so i'm starting to i'll go somewhere else i don't know but i'll figure out where to go that is so beautiful guys i i tried to shoot all the content it's just so beautiful it's so beautiful yeah guys it's very beautiful and i, I feel like i'm not getting good pictures guys i feel like nowadays i'm just getting ugly because i'm not getting good pictures eh but I tried. <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm gonna go charge my phone now. I'm gonna go charge my phone. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go charge my phone and then hopefully wait for the sunset whilst I sip on something. I got my Malawian gin. My Malawi gin. I'm happy with lime. I'm a, I'm very happy. I'm satisfied like just look at how good it looks Welcome to Ekaya. It's beautiful. Doesn't it seem beautiful? Hello, my lovely. <laughs> this looks nice. This is Ekaya Luxury Resort. We just got here from um, where we were. Sun, Sun, Sunbird. Yes, guys. Sunbird. Kids are swimming in the lake. They're enjoying, huh? Having so much fun. But rather swim in the lake than in the pool. <laughs> yeah, people. But then, like, when I was saying, the people here are not very cultured. They adopted adopt too much of the British culture. Huh? Let's go and get some drinks. Place the kids can play. I love the rooms. Look at the rooms, guys. That. That, they're both like little huts, but like it's windows all right round. No walls. Do you see that? It's very nice. Cheers! Clink, clink, clink. This is my Malawi gin and tonic this time, not with lime. That's why it's not green. But it looks nice. I wish I could go inside the water. If I had my, my costume, I would. <laughs> cheering, cheering. I, I'm so Like, what if they test me for COVID and I get positive before I get on the flight back? <laughs>
gonna not be not. Um, I I just wrapped up everything. I guess this is our last day, so we're done with work and stuff. So we're gonna go to. I wanna go get. We're gonna go get a few things that we wanna carry to Botswana. Like the rice here is amazing. They've got such beautiful rice. The rice smells so good. It tastes so nice. And hey, it's like it tastes really different from the one in Botswana. And I can't wait to see the packaging and whatever. I'll show you guys. So we're gonna go get that because we all enjoyed it, guys. There's here so many. Yo, look at them. Look at them. To get to my room is it's such a struggle anyway so um yeah we basically <sighs> i'm so trying to catch my breath uh that's that's what we're gonna do get the rice and also hopefully get me some famous malawi gin um and then what else yeah that should be about it you know that should be about it um so that's what we're gonna we're gonna do later today and then i don't know maybe have dinner with the whole team later and then yeah and then we'll be oh, oh there's a camera yeah and then we'll be you know done Outside somewhere, my room being cleaned. Okay. Okay. So, um, basically, that's what's happening. That's what's happening, guys. <sighs> oh, I'm still trying to catch my breath. <laughs> Uh, yeah so after that after we go we, we buy those things we're gonna come and hopefully have dinner with the team later otherwise pack because 6 a.m we're leaving this place and then we're gonna because our flight is at like nine but obviously have to be at the airport way earlier so six o'clock would have left and hopefully at seven we would be at the airport um so i realized that i didn't brief you guys on yesterday um just after we were at um sunbird they're calling it in cocola i think i would verify um after we left we went to ekhaya which i think i showed you guys right yeah i did and um so we visited two resorts and then yeah afterwards we came straight home so it's like a three hour drive from that side of malawi to this side of malawi to blantyre basically we had to pass like other townships and districts that's what they call them here um i will make a full wrap up of like what i did where i went properly with the names and stuff um maybe when i get to botswana i'm not sure because i feel like i don't know if i have time to do it tonight but i think i, I i'm not sure but I, I when i do get the time i will let you guys know because i couldn't really um cram the the names of the places so i i still don't know like exact names of the places i just noted them down so i'm gonna have to like um tell you guys whilst i i'm looking at that list what exactly happened where exactly we went and where what was where <laughs> you understand <laughs> so so yes that's what that's what's going on um basically we came back really late it was late it was like half eight when we got to blantyre and we slept oh no we didn't sleep okay i tried to rest but i didn't manage to rest 
we went out and we came back home really late and really exhausted so i couldn't really vlog for you guys but it was interesting i visited this club called scholars scholars and it was packed there was a live band um yeah i don't know how i'm going to insert the images and the videos in the vlog but i think that this um catch up is gonna happen right after um right after the, the yeah right after you guys see what went down yesterday mm -hmm. so yes that's the live band with the live band it was so nice we saw the live band we, we danced you know with the people of malawi yay the people of africa Ugh. Africa so beautiful guys this place is Africa is just beautiful this is a, such a beautiful continent the people here are lovely everything is just so peaceful you know it was very nice it was a very good work and pleasure trip <laughs> mix and match of both so so that's what we got to do and today like I said that's what, what I'm gonna be doing so right now I'm just gonna rest a little bit and wait because it's afternoon it's like around 12 o'clock i'm gonna wait for like maybe till like two o'clock and then um yeah and then now and then we're gonna leave to the mall yeah nana boo so i'm not sure how i'm going to um split this vlog but i think the best thing to do is have two parts for it um i think the blog the vlog will be a little too long because then i'm also going to film what happens today and then tomorrow as i travel back to Botswana, um so i hope that so far so good you guys are enjoying the content and um cheers to more trips <laughs> uh thanks to muhiri again yeah you might we must thank our employers you know yeah because you know some of these things wouldn't be possible if they weren't there so um i just wanted to say that i love you nana booze I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, I got myself this little t-shirt is an I love MW, I love Malawi. It's so cute. It was 15,000 kwacha, um, which is maybe like 200 pula. Um, and then I got this from our colleagues here. The people are so nice. I wonder what's inside. Like, I really wonder. Okay, I got this in a key holder. I'll show you the key holder. It's in my bag. And I'm in a rush to go to this restaurant that he says is very nice and it's you know it closes early so i can't really I, I feel like going to my bag right now is gonna waste time so let's see what's in here Ooh, guys you should put a nice shim <laughs> what oh my gosh another one <laughs> i'm the happiest girl ever oh my goodness what does it feel like I hope it's not. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, green tea. Malawi's finest tea. green tea. Guys, I'm going to be having this. Hey, I need to lose weight now. Like, the, my weight has gone out of hand. So. And, oh my gosh. The rice. Kilombero. Guys, this, li this rice tastes so good. We're wondering why rice here tastes so nice and then they told us that they have the best rice like this rice smells so good it tastes so different from tastic and all that and i got honey oh this is so sweet like this is so sweet i am so happy like i'm so happy oh my two bottles look pretty just look at that Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you when I get back. 
hopefully i get back early because i'm supposed to wake up really early for the flight so hopefully i won't be too tired but uh this is really nice this is really nice thank you so much malawi this is awesome <laughs> thought I was dead. Okay. So nobody came close to me. Because <laughs> you know people don't want to be close to that place. So yeah. suddenly I woke up. So people were amazed that this dead body had woken up. Came running. So when I, when I woke up, people were just looking at me. I hope this. These days, if you have an accident, you you, you, you black out. What yeah. happens is people take you to the hospital. Yeah. So you actually probably wake up in the hospital. Mm. In the hospital bed, mm -hmm. uh, no stuff. Yeah, like stuff. Mm. I woke up on the road side. <laughs> afraid of the injuries. I was afraid that my, because my, my dad used to beat us up. You know, when he gets up from home. Yeah. And take his belt. Mm. So I was pleading with him not to, not to hit me, not to hit me. Imagine in that state, mm -hmm. in that state of confusion. So I was yeah. pleading with him not to beat me up. So I, I, I started crying. Mm. Then he went to the hospital. I spent two weeks in the hospital. Yeah. This, this can't be. This is not impossible. Mm -hmm, I see. I see. So, the person that hit you, where were they? I think my dad came back, beat him up. Mm -hmm. I think I had him arrested. He did most of things to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he kissed a monkey. He kissed a monkey. A monkey. Bernard. He kissed a monkey. Hey, what was it? Was the monkey kissed you. He doesn't know how to kiss. Oh, monkeys, they behave like human beings. You've never seen them. So, what happened? Tell me. Huh? What happened? I had to take a whole five liters of mouthwash. So I don't I, I, I don't say it anymore. You don't believe me. You think I'm no, we believe you. Tell me. Oh. We believe you. Tell me. Okay. Mm. The monkey was jumping. He missed a tree. He missed a tree. He missed a tree. Okay. So I was lying down on the couch on like um I put a mat. Okay, so the monkey just came in the
give her the green tea. I love the green tea. Um, she loves the green tea. I'm so tired. But I should never drink my Norwegian again. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> I, I agree with you. <laughs> it's bad. Because I don't remember anything at all. What did you say? Last night. Mm -mm. I don't remember eating. I ate. Then what? And then you went to sleep. And I went straight to sleep. But I feel like I remember. I feel like I remember coming back to my room. But I don't remember eating. No. Ah, oh, you're lying. So you ate all the lasagna and you and you and a one tea, ma. You, uh, uh, no. Uh, uh, you, you don't. You don't want to give me. And then you're like, let's go. My eyes. I'm tired. I have to. Eh, I have to wear shades, or else I don't even know how I'm gonna survive the weight in Joburg with this kind. With the way I'm tired, yeah. Cheers to Malawi. Last night, okay. I only remember coming back to my room. I don't remember leaving Blue Elephant. I don't. <laughs> yeah, no. It's boarding time. Soon. I'm at the airport. Look at this. There's literally nothing. No sign of life in this airport. I... So much better, but I'm so tired. So. I'm so tired, so very much tired. I don't have a hangover, no, but I'm exhausted. <clears throat> We're about to board, I think, in like 10 minutes. Sing a final goodbye to my life. I'm gonna miss this place. I like this place a lot. <laughs> But anyway, yes, look at my eyes. I'm tired. I can't wait to sleep in the plane. I have my little pillow here so that I can rest, fully rest. And I'm wearing my, my I love my Lowy t shirt. I actually got another one, by the way. Yeah. I'm gonna miss this place. It was nice. It was really nice. This past week was so nice. I think we're boarding. We're boarding in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes of boarding. And, uh, he's still trying to. He's, he's trying to figure. He's, fig, he's trying to figure out how to close my bag. Did you manage? No, you didn't manage. You didn't. You didn't do this part. And who's the who's the thing? And you didn't. No. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mhm. Mm my laptop is inside, so it might be. If it's not positioned properly, it might not be able to. Eh, eh, and then what happens in here? Uh -huh, and then yeah it's not positioned properly and then you and then you twist this don't forget to twist this yeah, you twist like a, I get it like this then you, you're gonna have to twist it like this and you put it there and you put that in put it in put this in at least <laughs> now I can open my bag because it's put back in. <laughs> so, these are our last few moments in Malawi. I hope we come back. I think we will come back. Definitely. Um, but otherwise, cheers, guys. This is basically the end of the vlog. I think maybe uh, I'll put a few things, but uh, I don't know. I'll close the vlog when I'm in Botswana. But uh, yeah. I know I look tired, like look at my eyebrows. I'm gonna miss this place. I'm gonna miss this place. My voice seems to have gone a little bit, 
but I wasn't screaming. Was I screaming yesterday? I wasn't screaming. <laughs> I was screaming. <laughs> I don't know what I was <laughs> I was singing. Oh no, guys. This gin is, this gin is no child's play. I was, I was singing. I don't remember. Hey. But, but I didn't, I didn't embarrass myself again. Yeah. I am filming this uh, two days later after my arrival. I was super exhausted when I arrived. I did not even have the energy to pull up my phone and do anything. I didn't even want to text or reply anybody. I was just super exhausted. Anyway, I promised to film this little segment just to fill you in on the blanks that I feel like existed um, in the vlog. So I think day four was, which was my most interesting day, the day that I went to the lake. Um, I think, yeah, because I wasn't really working that day. I wasn't working at all that day. We literally just had a day out to explore Malawi for a little bit. So we drove to the lake. Um, it was a very long drive. It was like three hour drive from um, Blantyre to that area. So we went across a few districts. I think I remember um, Zomba district, Tondwe. We went to, through Machinga district. And we even got to see the Shira River, which flows into the and busy um i think i also slotted like i inserted that it was such a beautiful sight to see like it's so pretty and then we ended up going to monkey bay and there we i ended up exploring one of the oldest ships ever literally like i've never been in a ship that old <laughs> apparently it was built in the 1950s um the ship was called ilala and I think that's where you guys see me exploring the ship and showing you guys like the restaurant and all that kind of stuff. And then afterwards, the drive back. Oh, and then after the ship, we then went to visit the two resorts, um, which you saw. Um, and then basically after Ekaya, I think that's when it just I just went straight into being at the club. Because what happened was after Ekaya, um, my bed sheet was starting to go low because I was literally like taking pictures and filming everything like literally everything taking pictures of everything you know when you're a tourist and you just keep on snapping and by the way i didn't have a power bank so you can imagine you can imagine so i didn't have a power bank and i was just busy taking snaps and my battery obviously died um and then i arrived in blantyre really really late around like nine and our hosts didn't want us to rest anyway so they wanted us to go to the club and like we had i think we had made i made a stop before the club that you guys saw it was some sort of like a street um restaurant i wouldn't say street bar it's literally in the middle of the street no walls nothing it's just the bar there and people are like there's a dance floor i felt a bit unsafe to take pictures there sort of like a bar in the streets no walls or whatever just literally the counter for the alcohol and then a dance floor that was it um so we went to that by the way i, I was so shocked at how like everybody in malawi is like clubbing and everything because after that we went to a club and i was super shocked like i haven't been in a club in like so long i mean it's post-covid like clubs really it was literally my first time after covid being in a club and i was just First of all, I was feeling very uncomfortable in the beginning and then I ended up letting loose. I bet you can tell. 
<laughs> but um yeah guys that's basically it that brings us to the end of this video um thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed uh, this content although it was a work trip it wasn't a vacation or anything i really did try to show you guys what i can and i hope that you loved it and if you did like it please click on the like button i would really like to know um and your feedback means a lot so please like comment and please subscribe if you haven't joined the nanabu family please subscribe um and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you are alerted when i post a new video thank you guys so so much for watching i love you nanaboos Mwah.